So you just um, shared that the center of the human person um, really is kind of the heart. It's, it's not about um, primarily what we know, but it's really about what we crave, what we want, yeah. and that we're often shaped um, in ways that we don't even realize unconsciously that our that our desires are sometimes disordered because we don't even realize we're being shaped. This has huge implications for young people. I want to know, um, you know, with this kind of understanding of how we are as human beings, what does that mean for what we should be thinking about in youth ministry? How we're shaping, how we're doing discipleship. Yeah, it's so crucial. In fact, in many ways, you know, when I was working on these books. Um, my own kids were teenagers, and I bet that was a big part of what I was thinking about. So, yes, y you are what you love. That doesn't mean follow your heart. <laughs> it, it doesn't turn into chase your bliss. It, it, actually, the, the um, sort of maybe the first movement of, of significance of this for youth ministry is if we are what we love, but our loves are learned, Mm -hmm. Our loves are trained and shaped. Well, then what we have to do is sort of take an audit of how our hearts are being aimed and oriented mm -hmm. and indexed. And um, that's what, um, this is where I talk about the significance of liturgies. Mm -hmm. So for me, liturgies, think of liturgies with a small L as uh, love shaping practices. Mm -hmm. So liturgies are these social, communal, formative rituals that aren't just something that we do, they do something to us. Mm -hmm. And uh, um, they, they are sort of loaded with a vision of the good life, of what the happy life looks like, so that when you give yourself over to these liturgies, um, you don't even maybe realize that you are learning to love mm -hmm. something in a certain way. So I actually think the maybe the first implication for youth ministry is helping young people to see that all kinds of cultural rhythms and routines mm -hmm. that they're immersed in, that they just take for granted, actually are liturgies. Mm -hmm. And they might not be forming them to love God, <laughs> um, almost certainly <laughs> but and so that's the maybe the prophetic moment of it the, mm -hmm. the sort of critical moment but then I also hope that the constructive moment is well what this means is the gift of youth ministry is not just informing young people's intellects it's mm -hmm. inviting them into the rhythms of the gospel and uh, uh, realizing that formative practices might actually be exactly what young people are looking for young people might not be looking for liberation from liturgy. Mm -hmm. They might be looking for liberating liturgies. Mm -hmm. And I hope that's what a youth ministry could offer. So formative practices, can you say more about when you say formative practices, yeah. the type of formative practices? Yeah, so, so um, think of it this way. Our, our hearts aren't informed by ideas. They are formed by these routines that mm -hmm. we give ourselves over. Because our love is a habit. Love right. is a habit, right? So think of these formative practices. Um, I mean, in, in some ways, uh, um, uh, the practices of consumerism mm -hmm. are examples of liturgies, right? That, that are training our hearts in certain ways. But then the sort of countermeasures uh, uh, might be uh, the disciplines of service uh, that we can invite young people into uh, to love our neighbor, to show hospitality to the refugee. Uh, those are uh, um, activities that invite them to not just do something, but there's also something being done in them by the Spirit of God, one hopes.